is a wonderful inspiration. It's just an overwhelming experience. You can't help but get caught up in it. In 1995, after having been a symphony orchestra conductor for more than 20 years, the idea came to me that a symphony orchestra could be used as a metaphor for an organization, for any kind of organization, but especially a business organization, where the issues of leadership, teamwork, and communication could be dramatized in an unforgettable way. Roger Nirenberg and the Music Paradigm have been sought out by major companies, leading financial institutions, and global consulting organizations throughout the world, especially during times when they experienced significant challenge or change. The Music Paradigm is based on dynamic interaction between the conductor, musicians, and executives. Participants are seated inside the orchestra where the conductor leads the musicians through a series of carefully crafted exercises specifically designed to illuminate the very issues that the sponsoring organization has come together to discuss. Executives are engaged in lively dialogue about what they see and hear. The result is a series of fresh, spontaneous discoveries about how people function in organizations and how both performance and satisfaction can be enhanced. When Bank of America merged with Nations Bank in 1998, Managing Director David Fisher looked to the music paradigm to help his organization through a critical time. We were going to have a, a management meeting of our top 200 managers. And I didn't know anything about the music paradigm at the time. I didn't know Roger Nirenberg. But the people who brought it to me uh, said, you know, David, this is something you really should look at. It's unique. It's all about bringing teams together. It's all about teaching leadership lessons uh, for those teams. Weeks before the meeting, Nirenberg meets with senior executives to capture the organization's goals and define the desired outcome for the meeting. Roger does a wonderful job of bringing people out of the audience into the experience. And part of my experience was I conducted the orchestra some period of time. On the podium, in just a few seconds, you have an intense and unforgettable experience of how organizations respond to their leaders. This can trigger useful and unexpected revelations about leadership assumptions and behaviors. People left that room and expressed uh, something powerful went on, and our private bank, believe me, uh, we went on a run for two or three years after that in terms of uh, uh, goal achievement. Uh, I look back to that day as the start of that, that run, that successful run. When he needed to implement big changes at Merck Labs, senior executive Douglas Green chose the music paradigm. I was a new manager uh, with about 3,000 people reporting to me. And these 3,000 people were divided into various uh, what I would call silos within the organization. So the first part of the challenge was to get the entire organization to recognize that they were uh, parts of a larger whole that really needed to work together uh, in harmony. Listening to an orchestra from its podium reveals a striking perspective of how separate teams in an organization can work together. What do you want to, to say about this experience here? Well, it's, it's fascinating to see the, the light and the shade between the different parts of the orchestra and the way that they're harmonizing with each other. From the podium, not only do you get more information, but you can differentiate it. You can actually hear light and shade that was going on before, and you didn't realize it from your locality. So the podium affords the global view. To take that concept and illustrate it in an abstract way by something which is totally non-threatening, like music sitting in an orchestra, you can get the message across in a much more fundamental way without the baggage of defensiveness and criticism. Two years after we experienced the music paradigm, we still talk about the view from the podium as uh, opposed to the view from the individual strings or brass. 
And so that's become a really indelible part of our, of our thinking, of our terminology, of our discussions, and of our interactions. To help unify and motivate a group of the company's top achievers, Roger Nirenberg and the music paradigm were called upon by the CEO of Cushman and Wakefield, Arthur Moranti. We're confronted with educating, motivating, and inspiring this group of high-powered executives who have a very short attention span. So how do you teach these people to change their behavior, modify their, their patterns of what they do every day? It's a real challenge, and it's a challenge that is not accomplished by just having a lecturer. It was so successful, frankly, I was shocked. The music paradigm's success is often attributed to its special, indeed unique way of animating, not just relating messages, of involving audiences, not just informing them, and of actually demonstrating results, not just describing them. It's an interactive, adaptable, and specially customized experience, the effect of which is immediate, powerful, and long-lasting. If the problem that you're facing is the group dynamics in a large organization, trying to get people to understand what leadership means, one of the most powerful ways to convey those kinds of messages is, is uh, through the analogy of the orchestra. The music paradigm, by exposing executives to a metaphorical experience of a symphony orchestra, opens up a space in which they consider very deeply things that they haven't thought about. They think about their own leadership style. They think about the way they relate to their colleagues without being told to do so. It just happens in a, in a very natural and organic way. After the music paradigm, I think people viewed me as someone who was more interested in motivating rather than directing or dictating. When I left that day, uh, I know I will be a better leader from this point forward. Our message to our troop was delivered precisely. He hit a home run out of the park. One of the things the music paradigm does is help this organization through this shared experience and the leadership principles to think consciously about how they're going to interrelate to each other when we leave the room. And that's what we wanted to achieve and we got it in spades.